snitch on me? But why? <laughs> How? I'm your best friend. Whatever do you mean, snitch on me? You know? So she was like, yeah, nah. my darling, my darling. All right, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. What's up? So this is gonna be a story time video. This video is gonna be about the first, the time that my best friend wanted to fight me. <laughs> so. Let's just start from the beginning of how we how we became friends. We started being friends in the uh, third grade. We lived in the same apartment complex, so our apartment our our apartment complex was right across from our elementary school. It was like complex school, so you could like literally just like walk over and you'd be at school doing math, you know. So we were best friends. We would do everything together. She borrowed my R. Kelly uh, CD, and I borrowed her glitter movie, you know, with Mariah Carey in it, and we were popping, like, we were good friends. So, move, um, fast forward to fifth grade, where, you know, was it sixth grade? I think it was sixth grade. It, it was sixth grade. It was sixth, it was sixth grade. So, sixth grade is, like, where, like, the last grade in elementary school in Minnesota. So we were in our last year of elementary school. So everybody thought they knew whatever, everybody thought they were popping, all of the sixth graders were acting like they were seniors, you know, I was acting a little fresh fool. So I started noticing that she would kind of like switch up her attitude on me. Like some days we would talk and we would get along, everything would be nice and cool. And then other days she would just be like, evil towards me. I'm just like, why me? Why I? I'm your best friend. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You know? So, there was one particular day where I don't know what I did, but she was like, oh, I'm gonna snitch on you. I was like, snitch on me? But why? <laughs> How? I'm your best friend. Whatever do you mean, snitch on me? You know? I'm gonna so snitch on you. I'm a total teacher. And let me just let y'all know right now. When I was in elementary school, I had so many bad slips for being a bad kid because like the amount of slips someone would get from like fighting, I got for talking. I had pink slips, white slips, yellow slips, like it just went on and on and on. I cannot afford to get another slip, which equals another butt whooping, which equals the reason I don't have a butt right now. Okay? <laughs> like this is just, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't working out right. So I was like, no, why would you do that? Don't snitch on me. So it came to a point where I was begging us, like, hey, please, don't snitch on me. Y'all know my situation. Y'all know what I got to do with. Y'all know. You know? She's like, uh. She was like this. Why should I snitch on you? I was like, <laughs> I'm your best friend. Whatever do you mean, snitch on me? You know? She was like, well, I guess. I was like, I'm your best friend. Whatever do you mean, snitch on me? Okay. And I thought the issue was squashed. Like, I thought it was over. So at the end of um, the day, like at the end of school day, I overhear someone saying, oh, she's going to fight Queen. I was like, who's going to fight Queen? Like, what? I was like, maybe I just heard wrong, you know? Because <laughs> I don't want to make beef with nobody. Nobody should be wanting to fight me. And I'm 5'0 right now. I'm 20, right? Sixth grade, I was 12. I must have been like 3'8, okay? So... I knew I couldn't fight. I knew for a fact I was not a fighter. I always said, okay, I'm not a fighter, I'm a twerker. Okay, for example. I heard another person say, oh yeah, she's gonna fight Queen at the end of school. I was like, who's gonna fight me? And why? And how? And where? And what? I was like, wait, hold on, we mind. Who's trying to fight Queen? I'm trying to hear thinking, like, who I got beef with? Like, who was trying to fight me for no particular reason, you know? And then I look over and I see my friend. We'll call her D minus, right? So D minus was looking at me because, you know, that's probably what she got in her per cards. D minus was looking right at my direction. She's giving this dirtiest look ever, right? And I looked at her like, why is she eyeing me like that? And then I put two and two together to make four, right? I was like, is d trying to fight me? Is my best friend trying to fight me? First of 
of all, the Art Kelly, uh, uh, what's it called, CD that I let her borrow, I never got it back to this day. Okay, I had to lie to my mom. I don't know what I told her. I probably didn't say anything. She was trying to wonder what happened to the CD for about four years, and then I finally confessed. Gave it to my stupid friend, and she never gave it back to me. But then, long story short, right? This girl followed me outside of class to like where you know how I said there's an apartment and there's a school. So I'm walking back to my apartment. I thought class was over for some reason. Like school was out, and I just assumed they let us go. So I was walking out and she was following me. So I was on my guard because I, was, I saw the dirty look she gave me and I was still thinking like, maybe she is trying to fight me. So let me just get out the premises because I'm not trying to get suspended. I'm not trying to get my butt whooped and I'm not trying to, you know, get that kind of record on my record. So as I'm leaving, walking out like this, right? Thought I was good? No. She followed me outside. She's like, clean, I want to fight you. with who with what and then I see like all our mutual friends basically on her team because they were all surrounded but it was like me her our friends right so basically on her team so I was like first of all I'm an excited I'm a twerker okay so she's like I'm gonna fight you and I proceed to walk away and she pushes me and I'm three eight so I did one of these like oh. Like, I did that, right? She pushed me three times, and I looked at her like... Like, you're dumb, like... Like, I knew in my heart I couldn't fight her, but if I had to, I would, because at that moment, I was like, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be my best friend, and you're treating me like your enemy. Like, how, you know? So I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna fight you, blah, 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 blah. I stood, I stood my ground. I was not backing down for nothing and nobody, because if I fought her, my mom would have fought me too. And I don't have time to fight two people in one day and still do my homework and pass, okay? So, um, the teacher, my social studies teacher came out and was like, hey, what y'all doing? Like, school is not out, come back in here. I was like, oh, thank God. But as they proceeded to go in, I just left. Like, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I just feel like going home. I don't feel like going back into the school, so I'm gonna just leave. Um, That day, like the next the morning, I don't know what, happened to me till this day i don't know what happened but i got really sick like i didn't go to school for about three days they probably thought i was being a punk but really i probably had like freaking like strep throat or something or that nasty crap she probably put on me when she pushed me a little disease so i actually never spoke to her after that we never spoke ever again. We were never friends. We never hung out. We walked past each other at school. The next day, like three days after I saw her, we just gave her like dirty looks. So like, yeah, we're not friends anymore. And you know it and I know it. So bye boo. Go about your life. Get your D minuses. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it happens. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for more videos. 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 <laughs> Everything will be money matter Cause I wanna do hope for my side Assuming I give you my heart Tell me will you be willing to ride No surprises I done in my 